Hey guys, it's Andy and Andrew, and welcome back to week 15 of 24 Weeks of Christmas. And as you can see with the crap all over the desk, we're going to be using junk again. Or pretty much junk, and um, I don't know about you guys, but we always seem to you know, pick these things up on clearance, and then they get put on a peg, and then we forget about them, and they don't get used. Well, that's the kind of crap I'm dragging out today. Um, and it doesn't matter that this says Valentine's Day and this is celebrate. I'm looking at the colors. That's what I'm going for. Not because this says Valentine's Day. I can't use it any other time of year. It's red. Red goes whenever. So um, this is one of those tags. I did want to see how quickly um, one pulled together before I turned the camera on. And this is scrap out of my scrap bin behind me um, and one of these big Merry Christmas things I can get at Dollar Tree and Walmart um, I'm sure probably Poundland um, overseas carry something of the same some seasonal ribbon some of this garland stuff that comes in the tubes um, washi tapes um, these these kind of tapes I have some duct tape you know, just oddball stuff. And we ended up, not that we needed washi tape. We need washi tape like we need a hole in the head. But Michael's had a bunch on sale, like mismatched pieces, um, at 10 cents. Like in a big bin. It's like some stuff that came open and they're just selling it as is. So that's what we're going to be working with today. I just have a mishmash of, like, let me pull it up there. There, see? Junk. Crap. Scrap. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Um, I do have a set of dies from scrapbook.com that go from this ginormous piece down to little itty bitty. Um, and there's actually one smaller than that. Zorro, please be quiet. Um, I'm not sure where my other one got to. But this third size down is what I use to create this tag. Um, I'm going to probably be working with smaller ones just so I can use the small Sizzix that's right in front of me. Um, and this is what we're going to create using scrap. Alright, so for that, I've pulled out a couple pieces here. Yeah, these are how these come in these little flickies here. Also used... Um, some of this table scatter confetti stuff that's what was down here in the corner and make really nice embellishments there's also this style some little glitter pieces silver you know what, I'm going to lay that all up here in my drawer till we get to that, so, so don't make a royal mess. I also have some cute little reindeer buttons. The buttons that came from BB Craft. Those, those are all going to be embellishment pieces. Whoa, sorry, make y'all seasick. Um, to start, though, I have this piece of shiny paper. I think I'm going to use the shiny part for the back side because I don't want to cover that up. So I'm going to flip that over. We're going to use that. I have some thinner pieces of heavier black card stock and then just a piece of card that got swapped up. But we're going to cover that up so it's no big deal. Alright, I already used these two pieces on or these two tapes on the big piece so we're going to skip that one. Um, Sorry, guys, that train is really loud tonight. Um, do I want the plaid? I like these little gingerbread men, though. I kind of like that color scheme right there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go for something smaller first. and get, You can get the idea. Um, so I'm just going to use this. Zorro, 
stop. Will that cut? I think it will just fit. I mean just fit. Alright, we're going to give this a try. Can I work around that piece of... Yes, I can. So I don't have to waste this piece of cardstock. I'm just going to cut it slightly bigger than I need now. Typically, I would leave more on the edges there, but this is what I have, and this is what I'm working with, so. Um, can you tell that tape's seen its better days? Let's hope it still sticks. But I don't know about you guys, but washi tape, it just... You just... I don't know. I just can't seem to use it fast enough. Let's start this down. I'm going to do this in an angle. And let's take this thinner one. If I can find the end. Christmas might be too big. Um, nope, not the right color. Red. Yeah, not feeling that either. Okay, we're going to stick with these two. And I'm going to continue at an angle just for something different. Zorro, please stop. If you have trouble getting your washi tape to stick, you can always glue it down. Like I don't know how well this gingerbread's gonna. It's like some of this that's um a little plasticky almost. It doesn't seem like it has the same stick as the paper. If that makes any sense. Now I'm sitting here as I'm doing this and I'm racking my brain to see, try to remember if we have a gingerbread um, die, and I do not think we do. That would be pretty cool to use. You don't know if we have a gingerbread die, do you? I don't think we do. Memory does not serve. Zorro, you gotta stop. Come here. This is just so tedious. And but it's a way to use up pieces that normally just don't get used up. So there's going to be our back, our front. We need our die. And I'm going to pull this little guy in. Now, I think for this one, I'm going to cut this upside down. There's no stitch marks or anything on these dies, so I'm going to cut that that way and grab the Maybe I will. The little do flicky that cuts the hole. Yeah, that, that's technical crafting terms. Crap ton and do flickies. Mm -hmm. Which one
All right. Now, here we go. of our scrap here. Pull that off and that cut our hole. And there's the front of our tag. And that's all we're left with. So we can chuck that. And I will sit this up here so we don't lose it. Do you see what I did? We now have upside down gingerbread men. Oh well. Such is life. I should say that's the that's just the way things go. We're gonna roll with it. We'll just have upside down gingerbread men. So if you have directional tape, pay attention to which way your tape's going. I think I'd have been fine if I wouldn't have flipped it upside down to cut it backwards so I could see where um, where I was actually cutting it. It's all right. All right, so there's our rustic tag. And you can just write on the back with a white gel pen. Trim. I like long ends, but I'm going to trim these down just a little bit. Alright, so there's that one. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want any of these embellishments on that one. I'm going to have to look for something for that one. So it can go aside for right now. Um, we'll choose this pretty... Will you go through this? No, you will not. but you will. Okie dokie. Let's see. Can we get it cut this way? Just. Holy cow. There we go. Sit that there so I know where that's the one we're using. Um, let's try this green. I'd like to use those red flowers, so let's try some green to contrast that. Let's try the angles again. Silver is pretty. Or do I like this? I don't think I've ever used this one. Nope. It is still. Yeah, we're not fighting with that right now. I'm just going to keep layering. No idea what that is. I'm going to throw something in here just to break that up. Choices, choices. I 
Maybe if we can get that. Maybe this will fit here. How about we do a little tape surgery? make it work. Insert the Cricut music here while I pick at tape trying to get it to come off the backer. There we go. Let's move that a little bit so we don't get that torn part. I mean, I know we're using scraps, but what there might be enough left on this yes there is finish that corner out alrighty okay hopefully y'all didn't see me just about jump out of my skin I was not expecting the phone to ring through the Bluetooth all right so since this piece is going to just fit on the plates I'm gonna trim this ahead of time Sounds like Andrew's door needs some WD-40. Dogs didn't like it either. And it's time for me to make a new desk. Is what it is. All right, let's get that out of the way. We have our plates. And you could just as easily cut these tags on your um, paper trimmer or just cut them by hand. Use a regular hole punch. Um, we have the dies and it already comes with that little do flicky there to punch the hole. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. not good. I guess it got caught. Well, I guess we're not using that one now, are we? I could. I could. Hmm. Let's see. When things go awry, let's figure out a way to fix it. Let's get rid of the ugly part. We have that on the back. Why don't we add some of that to the front?
happy. Things don't always go as planned or as hoped, and things go awry, but most times, most times they can be fixed. There are times, though, that you just gotta chuck it in the bucket. I'll edit that for the camera, but I'm sure you can figure out where I was going with that. Chuck it in the forget about it bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that doesn't like to go through there. I've got to take the end. Yeah, I'm just knows I'm having a time tonight. That's all. That there, that there, that over there. Let's get this out of the way. And voila, that can pop down there. Like so. Dora, pull it. Sorry, video just turned into way longer than I was anticipating, but I said things go awry sometimes. And now I don't really feel like wasting that pretty tag. know what I'd like to use on there and whether I can find it once. Okay. Found another piece of trim. Figure out roughly how much we need here. Let's see if it takes me 15 hours to get the backing off of this. That a little bit of a trim and off the bottom. These are gonna be, yeah, these are gonna be way too big for that. Well, where did them little spiky things get to? These little do flickies. I know all this is not gonna work underneath those little flowers, so that being said. that uh, no not the right shade of green Not quite digging the pink centers on those.
Hmm. Like this, but I think I want more. I want them, I want them more concentrated. So let's see how bad I can burn my fingers. Put this on. I'm going to give it a second to cool, but I'm going to squeeze this together. and make that a thicker spray of pearls. Sorry guys, it just took a left turn at Albuquerque, but sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. And you just gotta either chuck it or roll with it. And then today we're rolling with it. Okay. So there's that. And then we'll layer these guys up. I think that's actually kind of cute. a little warm. I wasn't expecting it to seep out from underneath there. Put one in the middle there to cover up the ugly. Tuck these in on the end. We put one, then we got to put two because things look better in odd numbers. So I'm just going to build up our little cluster. I think this will look cute with some greenery pieces tucked in, and I don't have any pre cut right now, or I would do that. Alrighty guys, so there is that. What kind of, maybe we'll put this, um, There's our ribbon to tie onto our package or slip into an envelope for a random act of kindness. So there are a couple examples for you. Some smaller versions and then the ginormous. So again, just using up scraps um, out of your bin and creating some really pretty tags and using up some of that washi tape that... I'm sure we all have laying around and it's beautiful to adore and look at, but eventually it does go bad and doesn't stay sticky any longer. So we might as well get it out and enjoy it. And what better way than to do it with some tags. Okay, guys, until next time, we will talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.